What is up, Warrior Rising family? We are back with the many incredible voices that make Warrior Rising the premier place to be as a veteran entrepreneur. I am Alyssa. I am the director of marketing and media for the organization. And today we have a treat with Lorena Black, who is the founder and CEO of She Served. She's a retired U.S. Army veteran, leadership development trainer, coach, speaker, mom, you name it. She does it. So without further ado, welcome Lorena. Thank you, Lorena. Absolutely. Lorena is one of the 10 amazing veterans that will be competing in Detroit at the business shower where they're going to pitch their businesses. So Lorena, tell us, what are you most excited about and what are you looking forward to getting out of this experience? I'm excited about the whole experience in general. I think this is a really cool thing that you all do for veterans. So one, to be selected is huge, but I'm just looking forward to connections, getting to showcase my business, getting yeah. to meet the other veterans, getting to learn about their businesses. And of course, you know, a chance to uh, potentially, you know, win money that will help grow my business is really exciting. Absolutely. So what, how have you been preparing for this? What does that process look like as we're around the corner of September already? Yeah. So really just working on the pitch deck, I think the training that we did the other night was really helpful for me to think about you know, what is that, that compelling part of my story that I really want to make sure that I'm sharing as I'm going through just the technicalities of the business? But what's that, that part that I really want people to know about my business and why I created it? Own that. Yeah. And I love when you touch on storytelling. So tell us, what is She Served? What do you do? Well, so I do leadership development, training, speaking, coaching. I found over the last four years, I was working for a nonprofit organization focused on women. And in that, in my role there, I was facilitating and coaching and, and speaking. And I found that that, likes me. that being able to serve people in that way, like helping people unleash that potential. Also, I found yeah. that the times I've had a chance to tell my story, when people hear that, they hear their story and my story. And there's something really cool about that. And I want to be able to take that and just help other reach what's next for them, whatever that looks I love that, that uncapped potential and being able to draw that out of other leaders. That's awesome. So how would you think, or how would you say that your military experience has helped in the process of your entrepreneurial journey? Oh, sure. Um, just one, it pulled out the leader and that, so I'm able to lead. I learned so many things in the military about being adaptable, about being resilient, about figuring things out on the fly about, you know, facing hard challenges, putting the positive spin on it. So many times I think with veterans, there's a lot of focus on challenges, you know, that veterans face or the things like that. And I want to focus more on the positive aspect of things or how do you take those, those things and turn them into something positive. And I think that just having lived through those experiences will yeah. help me to be able to, you know, relate to people or living Absolutely. It's such a common theme, too. When you exit the military, you make that transition. It's usually pretty scary, whether it's just you're, you're losing that family or camaraderie type feel or purpose or that task and that mission, you know, that you're working for. So what challenges did you see when you were transitioning out? And has that reflected in becoming a business owner? Because not everyone chooses you know, starting a business as their next step after the military. I think one of my biggest challenges when I was first leaving active duty back in 2018 was the, what do I want to do now? My entire adult life had been in the military. So I was like, oh my goodness, what do I want to do? And I'd done human resources in the military. I'd done communications, but I knew I loved people. And so my first job rights out of the military or active duty, I'll say, because I did have a, I went from active duty into the reserves for a few years at the end of my career. I, I wasn't sure what my my line was it's like I know my values but I didn't have real clarity on what they were and what I was willing or not willing to do so I'd had my girls in the military and I'd had to leave them and I had to miss a lot and we just were surviving and so subconsciously I knew that I wasn't willing to take a job that I was going to have me working on the weekends or working late at night and but I wasn't clear on that with myself or my employer at first and so I think that that's one of the things that was just clarity on what I what I wanted to do and what I'm willing to do. And then transitioning into the next role and then now here, it's really 
I've gotten really clear on my values. I've gotten really clear on that line. And I think that makes me. Yeah, I love to hear that, that having the core values for yourself and speaking from another mom as well, who I had my son when I was in the military. Um, it's, it's so incredibly important to be able to have your own values so that when you have a business, those values should reflect the things that you value most in your own life. Um, so I like that you touch on that. So how did Warrior Rising even get into the mix? Did you find the organization? Did someone refer it? And what was your experience like with this organization? Yeah. So Teresa Irving, actually, okay, I yeah. met her at, I was, went to the Michigan had a uh, veteran summit last year in Traverse City. Okay. And I was invited to come and be on a panel just talking about kind of the, the different faces of veterans, that veterans look like me and you yeah. and not just yeah. sometimes do believe veterans. Look like yeah. Me. And, and she was there and um, so was, oh my goodness, Lindell as well. Yes. From where they were there talking about Warrior Rising and that was my first initial introduction. And I wasn't in an entrepreneurial mindset at that point. I didn't know that that's where what I was going to jump head first into yeah. this year. And then when I did, we've been connected on LinkedIn. So she, she told me about this and another woman had mentioned it to me. And I kind of at first didn't know that my business was the right fit. So I was like, I don't know. But it just it kept popping up and I ran into her again. And she's like, Hey, are you, you know, what's up? Are you doing this? And I had already yeah signed up for Warrior Rising. So it was just one of those things that I feel like was kind of meant to happen. Because yeah. She, she was really no, absolutely. And I mean, it's, I didn't know that it existed, you know, so I'm like, wow, this would have been really cool. I don't have to go back to school or like, you know, there's so, like the very, uh, you know, the different paths that you can take when you exit. It's like, I'll just go back home and get a job. I'll do, you know, it's, you just never know. And I really love to see veterans owning their businesses and really owning, you know, that those values that they're putting back out into the community. Because just like yourself, most veterans want to give back. That selfless service isn't something that goes away when you exit the military. Like people want to continue to serve. And I really love that. So tell us the the meaning behind the name She Serve. Yeah, well, it's me. Like, so me, I serve. I am she. Yeah. I, I think of it as I served in the military, but also I serve up. I serve people. It's just what kept popping up for me as I was thinking, you know, what do I want to call this? It just, it just made so much sense. So that, that is why. It's yeah. So what other pieces of advice or what's your, like your top, your top pieces of advice you'd give to any veterans that are looking to start their business? What helped you and what is something that you want to pass forward to them? Um, I'm going to just start. Like, honestly, I, it was one day I was sitting there. I had the thought in my head. I was I'm just going to create an LLC. And then yeah. the next day I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to get that domain name. And then I was like, I'm going to get this certified as a woman owned business yeah. and a service disabled. And I just started. And I think that's it. And I think also for me, you know, I'm a Christian. And so I prayed really heavily on it. And I felt that it was where I was being led. And then I just surrendered oh. to that. And so yeah. that's also been huge for me. But it started with the. Just starting. And that's such a reoccurring piece of advice that a lot of people give. And I think that's, it's, I mean, that's what you do. You got to, you just got to start. You have to believe in yourself a little bit and, you know, <laughs> yeah. and to see where it goes from there. So what with leadership and you're coaching different leaders, you have experience in the military, what specific values or leadership qualities do you help people to focus on or bring out? I really love to talk about emotional intelligence. Oh, yes. Because it is so important and it is so interwoven into everything we do. And it really is the differentiator between, you know, I'm a good manager, I'm a good person, or I'm a really, you know, great leader, great person, because it taps into, you know, so many more things than what people think. Sometimes there's self-awareness or empathy. There is adaptability in there. There's influential leadership in there. There's inspiration. There's teamwork. There's coaching and mentoring. There's so many things. And I love that part. And then also just when you're going through that, it's that really that values clarity. Too many times we're like, well, my values should be this or it should be that or this. No, really. What are, you, what are they actually? <laughs> yeah. Like, you're just like, well, let's slow down. What are they really? And, and that's okay if you're smart what you think the world thinks they should be. They have to be true. No, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And they say great leaders make more leaders, not more followers. And I've always loved when I've seen that. I was like, oh, that's so powerful. You know, like you should be making more leaders. So which I think really ties in exactly to what you're doing. Um, what kind of like long term goals do you have for She Serves? 
I, I just to serve as many people as possible, whether that's through getting opportunities to be keynote you know, speakers at events and, and tell again, telling my story and helping others see themselves in that story, or whether it is coaching or creating workshops and developing more workshops. It's just how many veterans and professionals can I? Absolutely. I love that. And uh, what can you give us a little bit of that story? Like we get a private sneak preview of what Lorena Black story is? Sure. Like I, you know, I have the same story that I think a lot of people do started with, you know, some childhood abuse and sexual assault. And then I found myself in a place where I was following and I was quitting when things got hard, met my army recruiter and I was presented with something that I couldn't quit that scared the crap out of me, but would give me an opportunity at a better life. I realize now, as I've been doing my own development, those early traumas actually helped me be successful in the military because yeah. I developed this, this people-pleasing thing that I, it's not my favorite, but it served its purpose because I learned, you know, oh, if I show up in the right place, right time, right uniform, and, and serve or make people happy, I'll be safe and I'll be successful. And yeah. I, that, that's part of it. But then it's also taking, you know, that early trauma the things that happen in the military to a lot of us that could, you know, bring us down, that could send us down a different path, taking that and making it work for me and making it serve me now where I could, you know, grow from that. And it's just realizing, too, that our past don't define us. You know, mm-hmm. take, take that stuff and, you know, what can you, how can you turn it into something great? Well, that's, a, that's a little bit about it. That was a yeah, no, and I'm sure that resonates. I mean, there's parts of that that resonate with me, and I'm sure anyone listening and, you know, the the panel, when they hear the pitch, too, you know, it's it's a very common story, but at the same time, it's all very unique to the person, too, and what they do with that experience. So I love that you say use it as a strength, like move forward, use it, you know, a lot of parts that we don't want to talk about are in our foundation, and they would like, if you come out on top, if you take the high road, if you learn something from every experience, that you can be a more whole person. So I do love that story in there. With, uh, you know, Detroit's right around the corner. You're about to meet a bunch of other people, the team, Lindell will be there, all these other incredible people. What kind of kind of networking and relationships are you most looking forward to fostering? You know, whether it's potential business partnerships, like what other, what do you look forward to with that? Well, I do look forward to fostering like relationships. Yeah. With- Biz, potential business opportunities, yeah. but I'm also just really excited to be in a room full of other veterans that are living yeah. their dreams. There's just something really cool about that, and I am looking forward to just the energy that I feel is going to be around the school. Oh. That's already the pre-energy that's happening. Yeah, like, I'm excited about that. Like I, like we're all already winners just by being selected for this, and that's really cool. And so it's just yeah. taking. I find that relationships are so huge already. The opportunities that have been presented to me so far have all been because of relationships. And so I'm just yeah. looking forward to, you know, planting more seeds, meeting more people, cultivating more relationships, because I know that that's what's going to carry my business. Absolutely. And do you have any success stories that you, you mind sharing with everybody? As far as how relationships are helping? Yep, that, that or with She Served, like personally or with your business right now, just a story that you know that you're on the right path because something, that light that happened, or you see that light in someone else. Yeah, well, I, want, I recently was selected to be the keynote speaker for the Women's Veterans Conference here in Michigan. And that to me is, is really cool because I was selected by a group of individuals that are planning this event. And so there was something that I think that between building the relationships between sharing my story a little bit between what they've seen that yeah. they feel excited to give me that platform and again it's veterans supporting other veterans and and i love that and that that is exciting and then there's the other times like when you when i've been coaching you know other veterans or people and you see that like moment where they have the, that light come on for them when you say that, that right in that moment they're like i get it. or again i had an opportunity to do it talk in Grand Rapids and one of the women came up after and she said this has happened a couple of times but she said thank you so much she's like your story is my story only 10 years separated it's those it's those things that have been just absolutely it's good to be able to look on a stage or anywhere else and be like okay I'm not the only one because it's very easy to feel like I must be the only person going through this 
a very lonely place. So it's really awesome to see people that look like us or have a similar experience to kind of humanize it all together and realize like, okay, I'm not alone in this. If she can do it, I can do it. So yeah. it's very powerful. Uh, yeah. So would you recommend Warrior Rising to any other veteran that is listening right now? And why would you recommend it? Oh, absolutely. And I've already actually recommended it. <laughs> because <laughs> awesome. you, all give, you all are giving veterans like this, this platform and this opportunity and this training and just yeah. things because sometimes we don't know where to go with what we're trying to do. And, and this organization is there to help us along the way. So it's like I said, if somebody wants to, if you're a veteran and you're starting a business, if you've started your business, check out this organization because you will find value. Awesome. And we appreciate you saying that because we're trying to spread that awareness too. You know, we're here to help, you know, it costs zero dollars. It's like, come meet some awesome people. I mean, even I love expanding my own veteran network. Like when I get to go to these events and meet every veteran with their dreams that they're pitching, it's awesome. It's an incredible experience. And I love to support them after these events too. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But so for everyone listening, just let us know where we can find you, where we can support you. Anything, anything like that, the stage is yours for that, that promo piece. Sure. Well, my website is sheserve.co. You can check me out there. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Instagram. I'm in the Metro Detroit area. So if you're around here, let's have yeah. lunch. Let's have coffee. Let's talk about what you want. I love that. Well, we thank you so much, Lorena, for being on here. You are doing awesome things. There's going to be a lasting legacy. I can already feel it and hear it and see it. So I look forward to meeting you in Detroit and congratulations for your positioning and the best of luck to you and the rest of the team. Thank you so much, Alyssa. I appreciate you and everything that Warrior Rise is doing for me and all of all it. Absolutely. And for everyone listening, thank you so much. This is just a sneak preview. We'll be back with Lorena after Detroit. But thank you for tuning in to the many voices that make Warrior Rising the premier place to be for veteran entrepreneurs. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.